put a smile upon my face Just to see you smile I just can't smile without you Baby, when I see you smile is National Smile Day. On this day, everyone is encouraged to wear a smile. Smiles are powerful. They not only create engagement between two people, but the more a person smiles, the healthier their brain can be. Smiling has a direct link to our brain and can help reduce stress. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. In his newest trailer, big screen vigilante John Rambo looks like he's been through a thousand battles, probably because he has. Rambo, Last Blood, the fifth and presumably by the title, final Rambo film, shows John taking his horse down an old town road to Mexico where he has to save his friend's daughter from a brutal drug cartel. Bad things happen happen in Mexico, as you can imagine, and then the cartel follows Rambo back to his ranch where the ultimate kill soldier has a few surprises waiting for the bad guys. The body count ensues. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was on Jimmy Kimmel Live last night. She said Donald Trump wants to be impeached. Uh, why I think the president wants us to impeach him. You think he wants us oh, to yeah. impeach him? Well, he, he, he knows it's not a good idea to be impeached, but mm -hmm. the silver lining for him is then he believes that he would be exonerated by the United States Senate. I see. And there is a school of thought that says if the Senate acquits you, why bring uh, uh, charges against him in the private sector when he's no longer president? So when we go out there with our case, it's got to be ironclad. So ironclad you, because the Senate president. leans Republican, you... No, not leans. Yeah. Completely in the pocket of Donald Trump, Republican. Right, right. So, right. Yeah. And you think that those Republican senators, even if they know he committed a crime, will side with Donald Trump? They have been all every day, and mm -hmm. not one of them has spoken up. But in any case, here's the thing, but just as you said, we would hope the best for our country. This is a country whose heart is full of love. The p American people are so good. We have our differences. We have to be respectful of that and, and again, try to unify, not divide in what we do. But I do think uh, the... the when we make, our, when, as we go down this path, the American people will know the truth and the president will be held accountable. But you have to go down that path when you're as ready as you can possibly be. And now, a minute with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Hello, America, stupid people. It's Kim Jong-un. You scared? You should be. I don't like your country. You want no sanction against me? Here my sanction for you. Damn, that for your stupid president. Flop top head. That funny you laugh. Well, he buy his hair. Clown store. He look like a clown. That funny. You know what you call a clown in North Korea? Dead. Clown scare Kim Jong-un. I don't like them. Like that no Stephen King movie in your country. Eat. Take SH, put in front. That's what scared out of me. Sky talk make me hungry. Mmm. Mmm. Little Debbie snack cake. Feel better now. Must go. Rich country of any clown. That was a minute with North Korean leader Kim Jong un. How petty is Donald Trump? He asked that the USS John McCain be hidden from his view in Japan. How spineless is Donald Trump? He's blaming someone else at the White House for doing it. The Department of Energy has come under fire for renaming natural gas exports Freedom gas. Freedom gas sounds like something you're forced to smell when you're on a camping trip with a bunch of 10-year-olds. R. Kelly has 11 new sexual assault and abuse charges, three more, and he gets his very own Bill Cosby decoder ring. A man set himself on fire outside the White House yesterday. That's unusual. At this White House, normally the only thing on fire are people's pants. 
North Korea has executed a top diplomat after failure of the Donald Trump summit. Seems like someone attended the Darth Vader School of Business Management and Strategic Planning. Still with Star Wars, the new 14-acre Star Wars attraction, Galaxy's Edge, opens today at Disneyland. If you go, may the force and a whole lot of money be with you. Attendance for Major League Baseball is down for the fourth consecutive year, so to grab people's attention, baseball is going to begin freely adopting techniques from hockey and football. For example, from now on, umpires won't interfere when players fight, and after every home run, you can expect a well-choreographed team celebration dance. Tom Petty's widow is trying to stop his eldest daughter from launching a line of salad dressings under the late rock and roller's name. Salad dressing options include free fall in Italian and running down a dream ranch. Baskin Robbins has announced a new line of flavors based on the cable hit science fiction show Stranger Things. They also had a Game of Thrones flavor, but people complained that though it started out delicious, it ended up by leaving a really bad taste in your mouth. Time for Nobody Gives a f New survey says Honolulu is the best U.S. city for residents to take a staycation. Makes sense. If you live in Honolulu, do you really want to blow your vacation time visiting New Jersey? Hey, stupid surveys. Nobody gives a f Taco Bell is opening a hotel in Palm Springs called The Bell, much better name than their first idea, La Hacienda de Diarrhea. Hey, fake Mexican food. Nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo, Tuesdays and Thursdays for NSS Live.